WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento is setting in for the master himself, Tom O'Brien. Tom will be back on Monday, but I'm setting in for him today, and I wanted to share a few things. We've got the markets, uh, our afternoon update with an hour to go. We've got the mixed mixed market. We've got the S&P up about five, and we got the Dow Jones down 120. The NASDAQ is up 40, and the Russell is down just a fraction. The big markets, of course, are the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. Notes up a full point. Uh, well above the 382 level now, and then also the Treasury bonds well above the 382 level. And of course, so we've got gold up $57, silver up two bucks, crude oil up about a dollar, and uh, we've got uh, that's about it. The grains are relatively quiet, nothing going on over there. The big action, of course, is in the US dollar index, the euro, the pound, the yen, the Canadian dollar, and the Australian dollar, and the Swiss franc are all very, very strong. And I think that's the reason for your reasoning to see money coming out because uh, speculative money is now hitting the books, as they say, uh, in the trade. But we'll have lots of things to cover when we get to my show here coming up here uh, tomorrow. But I want to f give you a heads up of what I'm looking at uh, today on Tom's show because I don't get to visit with you folks very often. I want to talk just a little bit about the, the psychological of trading and investing, it's, there's really there's not a lot of difference between trading and investing. It's mainly traders trade more, where investors trade less and hold on to positions. But, uh, you know, I'm risk averse, so I try to keep on uh, the idea of what I'm going to risk, not how much I'm going to make. So those are some of the things we're going to cover in the other half of the show. But uh, Tom will be back, as I mentioned, uh, on Monday. And uh, he is extremely bullish gold, as I am. It looks like, you know, we're going to be breaking out of that 825, which is 1825, which was the August high. And it appears that we're going to be going a lot higher than that. And silver also continues to go higher. We've shattered these things on the upside, folks. Any resistance, so any pullback is probably going to be looking to be purchased by both investors, uh, speculators, and traders. So we want to be watching those corrections in the uh, gold and the silver for a potential buy. This looks like a, a really long-term move that we've been waiting for for a very long time. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. For Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento setting in. We'll be right back. <laughs> 